is your Catholic Daily Journal for Wednesday, March the 6th, 2019. It's Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent, and a day of fasting and abstinence from meat. There are some quirks of history which cause Lent to begin on Wednesday rather than on Sunday. Most of them relate to the last three days of Holy Week and whether or not they should be counted as part of the 40 fasting days of Lent. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday are collectively called the Sacred Triduum, which means three days. They are formally not part of Lent for various historical and theological reasons because they aren't and because Sundays aren't fasting days. If Lent started on the first Sunday of Lent and the first fasting day of Lent was the first Monday after that day, then you'd only have 36 fasting days which is four too few. And so we tack on four more and end up with Lent starting on a Wednesday. This played out a little differently in different parts of Europe, going back to the 600s in some places and the 800s in others. By the Council of Trent, there was some standardization and everyone agreed on the Wednesday before the first Sunday of Lent so that we end up with 40 fasting days. Just a few notes. It's not a holy day of obligation. It is a day of fasting and abstinence from meat, whether you go to Mass or not. Yes, you should give up something specific. No, you can't just do something extra. And yes, you can have whatever you give up on Sundays, because Sundays are never days of penance. While Ash Wednesday moves around, March the 6th is always the birthday of Michelangelo the Florentine youth who was adopted by the Medici family and put to work creating some of the most powerful and iconic art in world history. He was born in 1475 as Michelangelo di Ludovico Bonarati Simoni in a rural Tuscan town called Caprese. Yes, it's spelled just like the antipasto salad with tomatoes, mozzarella, good olive oil, fresh basil, and balsamic vinegar. Michelangelo grew up in Florence, though, and found his way into the good graces of Lorenzo de' Medici and was apprenticed to the best artist in Florence at the time, which is saying something. When Lorenzo died, the Medici family found themselves in a massive turf war in Florence. They were basically the mob, and plenty of people got out of town as quickly as they could, Michelangelo and his family among them. He went to Venice and then to Bologna and then into Rome by the time he was 21. The next year he had carved the Pieta and he found himself in constant demand for basically the rest of his life. He was a great painter but also a master sculptor of small pieces like the Pieta and gigantic ones like the David and that's rare. He did simple wall murals and huge forced perspective pieces like the Last Judgment in the Sistine Chapel. And despite modern ridiculous efforts to argue that Michelangelo was a closet homosexual or a closet atheist, he was an active and devout Catholic his entire life. And both his art and his personal poetry tell the story of a man who loved the stories of scripture very much. Those who knew him described him as aloof and preferring work to people in basically all cases. He certainly has close friends, and some of his poetry reveals that he loved them very much, especially in the elegies that he wrote. But still, there is no evidence in any way, shape, or form that Michelangelo was anything other than he purported to be, a master artist and a good Catholic. Among the hundreds of masterpieces he sculpted, the Pieta and the David, He painted the Sistine Chapel and the Pauline Chapel. He was one of the architects of St. Peter's Basilica. He was the chief architect for the Laurentine Library of Pope Clement. And he leaves behind hundreds of poems revealing that he was one of the most talented Renaissance men that ever lived. He died three weeks before his 89th birthday. He was buried at Santa Croce in Florence, where his remains are today. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.